Hello everyone. In the last video, I had explained about the confusion and diffusion process in cryptography with a simple demo. In this video, I am going to give insight on another fundamental concept in cryptography that is the block cipher and the stream cipher. Let us look into the highlights of the block cipher and the stream cipher. The block cipher is an encryption method which encrypts a block of data. A block typically contains 64 bits or 128 bits and so on. A common block cipher is the AES which encrypts 128 bit block and DES which encrypts 64 bit blocks. The block cipher uses confusion and diffusion process to convert the original data to the encrypted form. For more understanding on the confusion and diffusion, please check my previous video. I have given the link of this video in the description box below. The block cipher uses ECB and CBC modes of operation. The stream cipher considers one byte of data at a time. Here, a key stream is produced that is combined with the plain text, typically by XORing to produce the cipher text. The stream cipher uses CFB and OFB modes of operation. Most pre-World War II missions, German Enigma, Linear Feedback Shift Register, RC4, Rones Code Algorithm are examples of stream cipher. Now let us understand the block cipher with a simple example. Consider the blue rectangle as a plain text. Here each cell represents one bit. So the text contains 256 bits of data. The plain text is divided into four blocks. Each block contains 64 bits. Now let's see how the block cipher takes place. The first block is to be encrypted with the key. The encrypted block is denoted in yellow. The second block is waiting for its turn. Now the second block is encrypted. Similarly, all the blocks are encrypted. Now you must have understood that in block cipher, each block is encrypted one at a time, which is achieved through confusion and diffusion. Now let's take a look at the stream cipher. In stream cipher, one byte of data is considered for each iteration. Here, the blue cells represent 8 bits, that is, one byte of data. For encrypting a byte, a key stream is generated. The first bit is encrypted, typically by XORing with the key. The encrypted bit is represented in yellow. This is followed by the encryption of all the bits sequentially. Now we have the first byte of data encrypted, which is represented in yellow. Similarly, all the bytes of the plain text are encrypted. So the stream cipher is achieved predominantly by only the confusion process. In this video, you would have understood the basics of block cipher and stream cipher. Now it's your time to start thinking of different ways of designing your encryption algorithm. Thank you for watching.